Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm Glenn. And this is... Couple versus Cardboard. And today, we are reviewing... Kemet. Kemet? Kemet. Kemet? <laughs> Kemet? <laughs> Rhymes with helmet. Kelmet. Kemet. And uh, Kemet, what's Kemet? It's a game with uh, themes of Egyptian mythology. Somewhat of a... Uh, like what would worker? Like, what's that word? Yeah, it's got a worker placement. Worker element. placement element. It's basically a light war game. Okay, okay. What's what's kind of the goal? I mean, how do you win? By getting points. Yeah. So there's one of two uh, ending conditions you choose ahead of time. You can play in either an eight point game or a ten point game. Eight point is supposed to be a short game. Uh, ten points is supposed to be a long game. What are some of the ways that you can get victory points? Um, by winning a battle. Okay. If you're the aggressor, so you have. Um, pyramids, uh, you get three, each player has three different pyramids. Mm -hmm. If you build it up to a level four, mm -hmm. you get a point. And if you um, gain control of a temple, yeah. you get a temporary point. Yeah. And if you control two temples in the night phase... So kind of at the end of the round. Uh, you get a permanent point. You can also buy points. The first thing that's really unique about it is you get points by attacking so and in addition to you by getting points by attacking uh, so in other words you don't have to necessarily um, control specific places although yes there is kind of that like wanting to control temples and getting right. victory points for things like that but you get these permanent victory points just by fighting like just by fighting I get points and so there's really this aspect of like keeping active and keeping and fighting mm, quite a bit. That's interesting, yeah. Like if you think about risk, the whole thing about risk is, okay, I'm gonna like muster like this big large army and I'm gonna put it on the border and then I'm gonna slowly kind of trunk my little army along. This game you don't do that because you only ever possibly have 12 troops. And that's true of anybody. And there's a stacking limit of, I think, like five. So you can only really ever have five troops on one space, and giving you the um, the momentum or the, the motivation to keep fighting yeah. and to kind of go out there and go for some of these these things that would normally be something you wouldn't do in, an, in a normal war game. The tiles. So the right. tiles really are where... It's the game changer. Every single one of them is an exception to some other rule, such as... We talked about stacking limit. Give you cheaper things. Give lines. you more perp points. Give you better defense. Uh, they, more movement. Yeah, a ton of attack. They also have these creatures yeah. that you can acquire to join your armies. As they give you some kind of added bonus. Like, for example, the, uh, the phoenix doesn't make you stop at walls. Ele elephant. The elephant. It gives you extra defense and one extra strength in battle. Somebody yeah. buys one and then, you know, you see that other person has something and you go, oh shoot, you know, that, uh, you know, Cheryl just got the Phoenix or she just got that little white tile. I have to make sure that I have another tile to basically counteract her thing. And so it's this arms race where you're, you're basically trying to go, okay, I've got to get right. more tiles or I've got to have more abilities in order to be better. Prayer effectively is the currency of this game. So you use it to buy more troops, uh, and things along those lines. You you only ever have a total of 11 prayer, but one thing that's worth noting is most things are very inexpensive. So right. I think the mo the most anything costs is four. Like So you might end up paying, right. for example, for a pyramid, which would cost four, or a tile, which would cost four. But generally speaking, that's about the limit. The other thing is that each troop to bring a troop back is only one prayer. And so, right. uh, and with a total of only possible troop uh, uh, being 12 troops it just means that effectively i can be back to full strength the next turn i think i like that it's a war game which uh doesn't ever really seem to slow down so mm -hmm. in other words the thing about war games tends to be that you have these ask these times where you just kind of muster and you're and you're recruiting troops and you're recruiting troops it's not that i don't like those aspects of other war games but what i really like about uh kemet is that it, there's a lot of reward for going out and just trying to go ahead and attack somebody else. Yeah. I, I really like the, the miniatures. Okay. 
Those are yeah. real fun. Yeah. Really fun aspect of the game. I think mm. there's a lot of things to be thinking about. So, um, so I think that also makes you feel like it's always moving. Like the actions are short. That so each turn is a short turn. You're yeah. The two player aspect is fun, uh, but I definitely think it would probably shine the most mm -hmm. when you start hitting uh, four, four, like three, I four, five different players, yeah. which is again why I think it would, it's a really unique game because playing five players in a war game isn't always the best, and usually there's one person who gets right. drowned out pretty quickly. The other aspect of the game, and I know this is going to be a weird nitpicky thing that I don't love about it, I really liked um, the the game that this company made called uh, Cyclades. Cyclades is a really interesting game which really leans into Greek mythology quite a bit. Mm. <clears throat> and when I got K Kemet, I assumed that it was going to be similar mm. where there was mm. going to be a lot more Egyptian mythology that it would lean into. And effectively, the theme of Egyptian mythology is kind of irrelevant as far as the game goes. But I will say, to, to that point, it is gorgeous. I mean, it's some of the best art easily. And like Cheryl was saying, uh, the minis themselves are really fun. Yeah. And even each different color has different minis uh, for each one. So each of them is kind of uniquely made, which is, is a super fun and unique aspect that they would, they would kind of put the time and put the effort into those kinds of things. So I think uh, my bottom line is it's fun. It's a good game for people who are getting started in war games or aren't interested in playing kind of long, uh, extended, a long extended game. This is one of those kinds of games which could really appeal to people who don't typically like direct conflict. This is one of those games where you can probably find some common ground with someone who does. So if you have a spouse, for example, who doesn't like fighting with each other because in a, in a game because it's like I don't like getting picked on or whatever. This can be one of those games where you might find some common ground in being able to do some of that. Like Hemet. What's a Hemet? <laughs> the city. It's a city where? In Riverside. Never heard of it. Um.